All right, everybody. Um, chat, can you hear me? Hey, assholes in the chat, can you hear what I'm saying? All right, I'm getting a yes. Okay, good. Let's uh, let's get right to it. So what I have here is the Channel Awesome fan stories. Okay, let me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the window where I'm looking at the chat because you're all saying very stupid shit and I just don't want to listen to it anymore. Just gonna just gonna move it over here a little bit. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm. Uh, what I got here is the Channel Awesome fan stories. Now, what this is, is a part of the Not So Awesome document that was redacted. Okay, most of you probably remember this. The Channel Awesome had a uh, document put out from a bunch of contributors who all said a bunch of shit about them. And it was a huge downward spiral and, like, everyone left the channel. Everyone except uh, Guru Larry, who, by the way, if you check my Twitter, just, like, a week before it happened, I said that Guru Larry will be the last one left. Just to, just to fuck with people, and I was 100% right. Okay, so this document comes out, and there was a section of the document that was stories from fans. And after a few weeks, um, it, it, it disappeared. The link to it disappeared, and then you, you could still go to the link if you had it. And then I went, ne I went to it like a few days later, and then the, the document itself was uh, put into the into the recycling bin. That's what uh, Google Drive is telling me. So whoever whoever made this, whoever controls this, didn't actually delete it. They're gonna drudge up this drama later on, anyways. So I'm gonna dr drudge it up just a little bit sooner. So I have a copy here. I gave it to someone else who said he's gonna do a stream, and they never did it. And this drama is getting stale. So I'm just gonna do it before it just disappears off everyone's radar completely. Is is this enough preamble? Uh, am I am I wasting enough of your time? Chat, tell me, sh should I just get to it? Are you bored with what I'm telling you? I'm seeing a lot of ones and twos and threes, but that's not an answer to the question I asked. Okay, anyways, let's just get right to it. So, this document got deleted off the actual document because uh, these accounts are not verified. But, you know, what is verified? Okay, so Lindsay Ellis said something. So Lindsay Ellis said, great. So this is a, about as, uh, as verified as anything else here. Let, let, let's be real. So how about I actually start reading this, okay? And I, you know, now, now that the document is gone and the guy from uh, down the rabbit hole didn't read this part, I don't want it to disappear. I'm not doing this for, for attention or anything. I just don't want people who didn't read this part to never know it existed. And for those who do know it existed and didn't read it, I don't want them to be too lazy to, to read it so... For anyone who's too lazy to read this and wants to know what's in it, here's your chance to listen to it from a guy with an incredibly unpleasant voice, annoying accent, just bad microphone, my, my connection to the internet is probably going to die out in a second, just the worst quality. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm burping. Oh, and by the way, English is not my first language, so my reading is shit. I, I hope you're, you're enjoying this. Let's see. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm getting a lot of F, 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 Fs on the chat. Is is that a yes? Should we should we get to it? All right, enough time wasting. Let's actually get to it. I'm going to start reading now. <clears throat> okay, submissions listed in alphabetical order by author. First one, Alan P. I remember meeting Doug and Rob outside Anime Nebraska 2015. They were alone and both on their phones. I had bought... I had brought my uh, Suburban Nights DVD for the CA crew to sign and had a bunch of autographs on the case. I nervously went up to them to get them to sign it and say hi, and at first they didn't notice me because I was so shy and quiet. I said hello a little louder, and Doug looked up while Rob still uh, was texting. Doug smiled and asked what he can do for me, and I said hi, I've been a fan since 2008, can you guys sign my DVD? Doug said sure signed it, and handed it back. I asked Rob to sign it, and he looked up and said, What's up? I said, Hi, big fan. Could you please sign my DVD? And he simply replied, No. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Doug looked at Rob and said something like, Ah, come on, man. 
and Rob literally looked at Doug and said, Fuck off. <laughs> Doug apologetically said to me, Sorry, man, you probably should go now. My experience with Doug was fairly positive, but Rob was an asshat indeed. Never told that story online till now. Pretty disheartening. Yes, I would say that is pretty, pretty disheartening. Okay, next story. Let's go. Alex Herbling. I don't know how to read that. Okay. I used to draw fan art for Channel Awesome for the Channel Awesome Gang. If you remember a big group of pictures, the pro Okay. If you remember a big group picture of the producers as my little ponies, that was me. Hi. I ran into Doug a few times at, at cons and was in the first video of the short-lived Artists Alley series. In my short segment, they misspelled my URL, which was just my name. It happens. When I saw the mistake, I groaned, but sent a message through the website contact to the through the website contact form letting them know, not necessarily expecting anything. But later that day, they added a corrected clickable text link to me under the video. What confuses me now is why they bothered to do that to me, a nobody who was in a 10 sec who was in 10 seconds of a side series and not the actual, you know, producers. Okay, so that's just some uh, good old general incompetence. That's that's pretty great. Everyone's telling me lag, but I can't really do anything about the lag. What am I supposed to do about the lag? Not, not really sure what I can do about that. See? Anyone's gonna give me some suggestions? I probably should have checked how all of this shit works before I actually tried to, uh, to do this. Well, nothing to do now. I already got this in front of me. Okay, so let's get to the next story. Good job spamming the chat, thanks. To the person asking that who these people are, uh, these are just random fans. This was uh, a bunch of fans who also submitted stories about Channel Awesome. And uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Everyone's telling me there's a lag, but I don't know what I can do about that. Okay, Annie. I was a big fan since around 2010. I followed both Doug and Rob on Facebook. I enjoyed Rob's page because he would respond to comments. It was shortly after the live-action remake of Cinderella came out where Rob posted a status about how the new one failed at making Cinderella a more empowering character. I agreed and typed a comment, adding my own two cents. He responded to me, but the comment he left was arrogant and basically said I was completely wrong and he was right. It left a bad taste in my mouth. This combined with the misogynistic Sailor Moon review made me shy away from Channel Awesome before the before unsubscribing completely. Okay, interesting. I, I, I see you're telling me that there's a lag, but I don't know what I can do about the lag. Anyone got any suggestions about what I can do about the lag? Yeah, probably not. Okay, next story. I went to Momocon in May 2015. Coincidentally, Doug Walker was going to be there. I was concerned about the lack of information concerning Pop Quiz hotshots, so I made it a point to ask Doug if I saw him, okay? I did not I did not back the Indiegogo, but I was concerned about the lack of information coming from Channel Awesome and figured I could at least try. The night before the con started, they had opened up the floor and had many video opened up the floor that had many video games to play. I decided to check it out. After some time, I noticed some commotion coming from the entrance. It was Doug Wa it was Doug Walker being led around by some uh, convention staff. As he was uh, strangely marveling some DDR pads on the floor, I nervously tried to get his attention. I wasn't nervous out of fandom, 
I had not been uh, supportive of their practices for two years or so at this point, but sometimes you're just nervous. I introduced myself to him while he stared at me with glassy eyes and smiled in a, a way that felt both empty and uh, sincere. I then asked him what... Sorry, just gonna scroll down. I then asked him what I was there to ask him about, Pop Quiz Hotshot. The pilot had been aired on March 31st of that year, and calling it a disaster could be considered an understatement. I asked him when the next episode was going to come out. Hello, Mr. Uh, Walker, I'd like to ask you about the game show. He didn't really understand. I had to ask him again, much more specifically about Pop Quiz Hotshot, that it may have not been received all that well, and what they were uh, going to do with it. He thought for a second, then told me with a bold, calming tone that they had received the fan feedback and decided to retool the show. Filming was set to begin mid-June. There was no sense of apology or sincerity in his voice. I thanked him and decided to hand him a hanging dollar, a gang prize he handed out at the convention last year. My brother had won some as he went to the panel, and so I found the absurdity of giving Doug the dollar too great. And I did so. He seemed genuinely thankful for that present and hobbled away. Okay, uh, interesting I guess. Okay, gonna ask a, the chat a question for you for real here. Uh, how bad is the lag? Yeah, I'm not really looking at the chat. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I just stop and try again another time? Gonna wait for the chat to tell me what they think. Is the uh, is the lag too bad? Should I just stop and try a uh, different time? Nothing. Not getting an answer here. Okay, I'm just gonna continue, I guess. Uh, you probably can't actually hear me, I guess, if there's uh, too much lag. wonder if this thing is actually recording anything I'm saying. I'm going to ask them directly. Let's see, Let's see if we can uh, get some answers from the chat. Yeah, I'm not, okay, I'm getting suggestions just to make a video, but I'm not gonna make a video of myself reading this for over an hour. Okay, I'm not really uh, getting much of a of a response here. It's just people call me a faggot, so I'm uh, gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, Brandon J. During the very early days of the now defunct Blistered Thumbs, I think around 2010, they were looking for uh, site contributors who could submit news stories on a daily basis. They asked for anyone interested to send them an example of their writing which I did eagerly because I was a huge fan of so many of uh, the personalities on the site and to even be a low-level freelance contributor on one of the satellite websites was an exciting prospect. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. 
Okay. And to my great surprise, they were interested in bringing me aboard. Got an email signed by CCO Robert Walker. Even had a few brief email exchanges with Angry Joe, who was running the site and was ready to have a Skype conversation. And then nothing. Got ghosted. I was very disappointed. I don't know what happened. But the lack of an explanation or why all communication suddenly ceased shows poor management from who I don't know. Okay, next story. Brent. I was once asked to leave one of Doug's panels because he was filming the audience for a segment in a review. I was told I wasn't being animated enough and I looked out of place. I didn't understand what they meant but they asked a cosplayer from the hall outside to be a seat filler as I was escorted to the back hall. Ouch. Uh, buddy, you got taken to the back for uh, being too ugly. You're not attractive enough, sorry. That's, I, I, that, that, that's got to sting. I mean, they don't want to associate, you know, people who are ugly with the Adonises of Channel Awesome. You know, people like Bennett the Sage or... Uh, or Spoony One, you know, those uh, those fucking Fabios. They, they don't want bad physical appearance associated with Channel Awesome because they're all supermodels there. That's what I think happened there. Okay, next next story. BW. Rob Walker promo banned me from the Channel Awesome forums and deleted my Channel Awesome, formerly that guy with the glasses account, on the main page so all my blogs were lost as well and I could no longer comment. This, in itself, is not the problem. He had the authority to do that, but the part that hurts was that this was after he told me I was only getting a temporary ban for a week in order to calm down after a particularly heated discussion in the off-topic section of the forums. Worse still, I had to learn this the hard way after I'd cooled off. To be fair to Rob, the, temp uh, the temporary ban was justified, when I tried to log back in, if he'd just told me straight up, I'd still be disappointed, but at least I wouldn't have felt uh, insulted on top of it. Like I said, I own the fact the permaban was my own damn fault, but what came after, that's all on Rob. Okay, interesting story. Let's see how the chat is doing. Okay, the chat is asking me stupid questions and... I, 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 I regret even having a chat. None of you are helpful. I don't regret not looking at it. Okay. Let's keep going. Every time I read one, I'm going to go back to the chat and see what you're saying. Unfortunately, none of it is worth looking at. Maybe I should just stop and ignore you. Okay. Next story. EA. In 2009, I wanted nothing more than to join the site. Yada yada. Same story as everyone. Me and my friends spent two months making a single episode. We got accepted. Yay. Only to be let known it was a mistake and that they had no space for us. Our idea was later appropriated by Doug. I made a forum post about this and two other people showed me proof of the same thing happening to them. Now, I don't think Doug did this. I think he was uh, running low on time and Mike just told him to do our things, but the damning thing is that the two other parties also showed me proof of having been accepted, and no, these weren't bits or jokes, they were formats which were used multiple times. Anyway, in 2018, that doesn't matter, anyone can do anything thanks to YouTube, but it did suck at the time, and it's the reason why I don't go back to content creation. Okay, so Mike and maybe Doug, I, I don't think it was Doug, Doug seems like an actually nice guy from all these stories. I think Mike just stole a bunch of concepts from people who uh, who offered them to the site. That that sounds like Mike, that sounds like something that he would do. Okay, let's see, let's see what the chat has to say. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, nothing interesting. Let's continue. That just sound me drinking. Eric D. Bought premium membership because I wanted to have easy access to channel uh, to NC videos and the like 
and wanted to support the site. First, new content would appear a few weeks after it was on the site. Then things just plain stopped updating altogether. After a few months, I sent an email expressing my dissatisfaction and, re and requesting a refund. The response I got basically amounted to, well, you should have said something earlier, suck it. I can't find the email anymore, but I'm reasonably sure that, that he forgot an eat, an it. I'm pretty sure that it was Mike, Mashad's words, which doesn't surprise me at all with everything coming out. I pretty much quit visiting the website after that. Okay, next story. Not even gonna look at the chat. You people are completely autistic. I, I hate my own fan base. We're, we're having fun. Okay, next story. Greg. I used to have a lot of respect for uh, Doug and Rob. We are from the same area and Doug went to my school and still does speeches there. Then TBF came out, not sure what TBF is. I was so embarrassed for everyone involved. I'm sure I know what TBF is, but I can't think of it. I was so embarrassed for everyone involved in this obvious idiocy. Then I listened to Fleen, Felon? I don't know a lot of these people. Allison and Brad's commentary which sounded like they had no good things to say about the production process or the end result, frankly. This operation has been shoddily run from day one, and its response to constructive criticism has been abysmal. I'm still grateful to Channel Awesome for introducing me to many great content producers, all of whom I still happily follow independently on their channels. What bums me is that that the people I at one time would have thanked for creating the site that introduced me to so many new things and ideas are now people who slightly repulse me if I'm being blunt. Doug, I used to think quite a lot of you and that has changed. Hashtag change the channel. Okay, they're okay. Next story. I, I don't know how to say this person's name, so I'll just continue. Used to run a small fan blog. Some of the stuff including criticism of the producers, but only ever in uh, a factual way. Got sent a message slash email from three producers who often work together because of their close proximity. These ranged from insults to death threats to the threat of doxing and permabanning me from the site. I closed down my blog and left the fandom pretty much after that. Okay, this is this is pretty juicy. Let, let, let me just prefix this by saying that uh, maybe some of these people are trolls. Who knows, maybe someone actually just made shit up, but this is pretty interesting. Okay, next story. Jace. <clears throat> Okay, Jace. I went to a small convention about half an hour from where I live called Indie Pop Con back in 2016, and the main folks I knew from Channel Awesome, Doug, Tamara, and Malcolm, were there doing a meet and greet. I decided to go to I decided to go to them. Tamara and Malcolm seemed perfectly fine and were pretty nice to me. Doug seemed a bit Doug seemed a bit, I guess, apathetic would be the word. Like he couldn't really give two shits about being there. At the time I figured, eh, he probably is just tired. He's been he's been there all day, Rob wasn't there at the time, figured he was off getting food or something. A couple of friends I was uh, with at the con had met him the previous day and said he was just generally unpleasant. Is, are, is he talking about Rob or Doug? Probably Doug. No, probably Rob. He looked like he couldn't care less about what you had to say. I dismissed him thinking, nah, y'all are just imagining things. Well, I ran into him later and uh, tried to talk to him for a second. And he just looked up at me like I'm inconveniencing him. I'm a pretty shy slash anxious person. I'm a pretty shy slash anxious person. So I just tried to smile and say hello. He just throws me a glare and... Uh, very curt and callous high and walks away. Okay, so uh, so Rob's kind of an ass. Hmm. 
Let's see what is the chat saying. How's the chat doing? Let's see drama, drama, drama for views. I don't even know what channel awesome is. TBF, the blown thread. I don't know what that is. Also rape, rape from Lindsay Alice. Penis, 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 penis. Ha ha ha. LOL. Penis. Why do I have a chat? Why why did I open this? You you people are just you. Oh okay. TBF is to boldly flee. God damn this. Uh, this chat is absolute garbage. You people are just, you people are just trash. If I ever meet any of you in public, I'm going to be a lot worse than Rob. I'm just going to, you know, like, physically fist fight every single one of you. Every single one of my subscribers. Meet me in the fucking ring. Okay, let's continue with the story. Let's see. James W. We're on, I think, page 3 of, like, 10 pages. Yeah, page 3. James W., in 2009, the site did a did the t-shirt contest for the fans. The only one of my designs that made it to the finals was uh, for the Linkara I Am A Man. I was shocked when I won. The prize was $50 and a shirt, and I forgot the other prize. Only issue was they misspelled my, my username. However, the site said I won. However, I never received the confirmation email. I reached out to the other winners and they told me they got the email. I reached out through the form and got no reply. I sent an email both to Mike and Doug letting them know. I got a reply from Doug saying he'll look into it. After a month, I reached out to the other winners for the confirmation email and form. You, for the confirmation email and form you needed to fill out to give them approval to use your design. I sent that both to the required address as well as Doug and Mike, never got my money, and when the t-shirts hit the store, the one I designed was absent. Hmm. A <sighs> lot, of, lot of incompetence here. Okay, let's uh, scroll down to the next story. Jame S. Is that Jamie or Jame? Jame, I guess. Last year, I had finished my first feature-length film, Black Friday, as a 23-year-old producer. Stop shilling, buddy. This is not about you. Stop shilling. Okay. It was an hour and a half film made on a $2,000 budget. I had a list of cameos I wanted to include in the film. Well, finally, I got Doug Walker, who I really wanted at the time. I contacted the site's email half a year bef before the release. <coughs> Ah, uh, got a little gassy here. In advance and heard nothing. I contacted their Facebook page and sent a Facebook message explaining the situation and showing proof of this being a legitimate film. I never explained that we were only a two-hour drive away from, the, from their studio and that we'd be more than willing to make the drive to talk about a quick cameo. I wrote the message at 1.15 a.m., five months before the film's release date in November. The message was shown to have been seen at 1.19 a.m. No response. Hours before that, I requested uh, business hours to see when, when would be considered a good time that I could perhaps call the office to see if I could speak with someone directly. My request was denied. Four months before the release, I get a call from our music composer who said he would be willing to ask Malcolm if he'd be interested in doing a cameo. Being how they are good friends, Malcolm agreed to speak with uh, me via Facebook messages and agreed to do it for a small sum of 50 bucks. He said he, ha he, said he had access to his own studio equipment as the cameo was a voiceover. I sent him a standard acting contract and waited for a response. Malcolm had gone completely 100% ghost after I forwarded him the contract. I re-messaged him again three weeks before the film's release, mid-October, to see if he was still on board. Nothing. I come to find out from uh, I come to find out someone from Channel Awesome stated if he did the role, he would be fired from Nostalgia Critic. I hold no hard feelings for Malcolm, but I do not appreciate it being led led on and misled. At least Chris. Boris did his cameo for the film. I actually don't know who any of these people are. I don't care about Channel Awesome at all. Mm. 
<sighs> my mouth's really dry. Okay, let's see how the chat is doing. I'm sure I'll uh, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, apparently, super chat actually works. I'm surprised to find that out. Here's a, here's a little tangent. You might uh, enjoy hearing this. I didn't think that super chat would work because, um, as far as I can tell, um, YouTube does not acknowledge Israel as a country. This is just a fun little story I'm going to tell you if I'm already here. Uh, I got a survey from uh, from YouTube uh, about a month back. I filled it out and then it asked me the country. And I look at the list of the countries and on the list, okay, they have Palestine, but not Israel. I think someone at Google is uh, throwing shade at the uh, land of Zion. Okay, enough of this nonsense. The chat is, as usual, completely awful. And I got a brony who's mad at me on Twitter, who threatened to kill me because I made a review of Mr. Renter in, in the chat. That That's great. Glad, glad to see you here, buddy. Literally threatened to murder me. To murder me because I reviewed Mr. Renter. That, that's great. Glad to, glad to see you here. Okay, next story. Jerry R. I worked at a college radio station and I interviewed Linkara. Cinema snob in studio and via phone, Benzi, I don't know who that is, and Rob and Doug Walker. The interview would work with me contacting and contacting the interview the interview via social media, and I would ask for the Skype address. Then via Skype, I would send the number to call the interview phone. Skype was used. Uh, Skype was used was in case phone lines uh, went down, but Wi-Fi didn't. Okay, in any case, I interviewed Rob, and the uh, interview went rather well. A few months later, I sent an interview request for Doug via the forum on the site and get no answer for six months. I remember I have uh, Rob's Skype, so I ask what's going on with uh, my request, and I am immediately asked if I'm a new producer on the site. I'm added to a chat group before I can even answer. I say that I'm not, and I'm an interviewer for the college radio, and I'm pretty sure he was embarrassed because the next day I get an email to set up an interview with Doug. I had to remove myself... He forgot a word. I had to remove myself from the chat group. I do the interview with Doug, and I hear nothing but wind in the background. I asked before we record, what's that noise? And he says, I'm on way, my way home from a dental appointment. The whole thing struck me as bizarre even back then. Flash forward to when Channel Awesome is looking for new talent. My co-host and I try out, but never hear anything back. A year ago, I ran into the Channel Awesome crew at a con. Tamara and Malcolm were extremely nice. I talked to Doug, who sent who just wanted to get away from me, and when I mentioned the interview, he goes, yeah, I remember you, followed by, you were at the college with the credentials, which isn't anywhere at the, at the college with the cardinals, I am not good at speaking English, which isn't anyway, anywhere close to my college, when I mentioned that I have Asperger's syndrome, uh, Doug clamped up after that. I am grateful that the producers let me interview them, and honestly, a producer is uh, the reason why I review an interview in video format instead of uh, audio. Okay, so that's just, that's weird, it's not damning, it's not bad, it's just really weird. Mm. How nasally is my voice? 1 to 10. Not gonna look at your answers. Okay, next question, next uh, story. Jim, <clears throat> I was, I was one thing and thing, I was one, th okay, I'm guessing the some more misspellings here, I was one thing and thing only that tipped me off of Channel Awesome's true self, even though I didn't stop watching from, for who knows why, this is some, this is really poorly written, the autism line from Doug's Ernest Saves Christmas Review. I myself have autism. It's not something I'm always proud of. Admittedly, at times, I used to think of myself to being, of myself to being inferior to everyone else because 
Sometimes I forgot things easily. Sometimes my speech will be mucked up a bit. But anyway, if I ever meet Doug, I would tell him exactly what I think of that moment. Purely disrespectful. Your, your grammar is disrespectful, buddy. Next story. Jimmy the Freak. Found that guy with the glasses after a crossover NC did with AVGN. Wanted so badly to become a part of the site that I bought a camera and started making videos in 2010. I was a forum regular and in the fall I donated over 500 US dollars to the charity stream which included a phone call from the team. Because I was at work and oil rig camp in a low to no signal remote area and had specifically told him to call my friend's number as a late birthday present to him, they called my number instead. When it went to, vac to voicemail, they, boo they booed an angry Joe flipped off the camera. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, 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 let's continue. After I failed to receive a tax receipt or other rewards for my tier, I contact Channel Awesome by email. I also asked if we were uh, going to receive tax receipt receipts or if the lump sum was donated in their name, which would be shady, but totally, but totally a reason a company, a company do a charity drive, drive since, since they, they get the financial credit. Okay, okay. This, this was my first experience, experience with, with Mike, Mike Mashad. His, His reply included telling me that they gave me everything they were supposed to, but nothing had been redeemed. On top of that, he said that my website had been linked on their sidebar for months. It never was verified by my verified by web time machine and to stop saying fake things. He also asked me for a, a shipping address so they could send something special to me. Like a fool, I did. The special thing? He put me on some mailing list for Chicago-based events and charities. I live in Canada. <coughs> wow, that's, uh, that's very interesting. I had some great experiences with uh, certain creators while I built my brand on Blip. I met good friends and uh, fellow critics there. Lotus Prince helped me when I started the change.org petition to Bleep when they uh, began kicking users and ultimately we saved people about 15 months before Blimp did what they uh, always were going to do anyway and was uh, even honored with a credit in a couple of videos, namely Game Heroes Adult Only and one of the Jew Warrior reviews after lending him a uh, Pepsi Man to review. He was the nicest person right now to give me advice on how to better my product. I, I, I wonder if this, uh, this person is maybe female, which would explain why, uh, why Jew Wario was the nicest person. Certainly Jew Wario was, uh, was, was, I think if I had to pick the nicest person of Channel Awesome, it has to be Jew Wario. He really gets mm, up close and personal with his fans. Like, 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 really up, up close and personal. Like, uncomfortably up close and personal. Okay, let me continue. I hate to this day I never got to work with him. Oh, buddy, buddy, if you had gotten to work with him, I think you would, you would have hated that a lot more. I'm guessing this, uh, this was written before uh, it turned out that Juario raped like, God knows how many people. Okay, fast forward forward to my other shit awful experience with uh, Channel Awesome. I had already been watching less and less, though I actually liked Demo Reel, but when Pop Quiz Hotshot came out, I asked in the forums if this felt like it was uh, supposed to fail. These guys clearly knew how to edit, they knew how to use microphones, yet BJ was holding a shotgun mic while wearing a lav and the audio mixing was horrid. Their cuts were sloppy, all of a sudden they couldn't do jump cuts. My theory, they released Pop Quiz Hotshot that badly because the people would uh, would not want more episodes so they could stop. In other words, self-sabotage. 
I wasn't as accusatory in the forums, but I did receive a lifetime ban, as well as an IP ban from the website itself. Over five years in the forums, as a blogger and contributor wiped out, with the IP ban, I couldn't even try to appeal or ask for forgiveness, though at uh, this point, I learned they didn't have sympathy unless the sympathy comes with a paycheck. Inter interesting stories. Let's see how the chat is doing. Let's see how you guys are uh, are doing. Easy peasy in quotation marks in the in three uh, in three brackets. Kike speech echo. Edgy again echo echo thou echo Jew. You are not really good at this streaming stuff. Easy Fontano. These are these are some awful comments. Let's see anything else interesting. No, nothing, nothing worthwhile to say. More, more complaining about my audio. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware. Easy peasy, you're echoing on your mic. Why am I echoing on my mic? I. Everyone's telling. Oh, I get. It. I'm echoing on my mic because because I'm a Jew. Is is that the joke or am or am I actually echo echoing here? I'm not. I'm not actually sure. No, okay, I think some people are telling me I'm actually echoing. If I... Well, whatever it is, I don't actually know how to fix this. And I'm going to continue. See, we are on page four. This is going to take hours. KR. Channel Awesome representatives attended a convention around 2015, and there was a panel I attended where... It was Rob, Doug, and Malcolm just talking about uh, this and that. During the Q the Q and A portion, I uh, called, I was called on, and I asked approximately what is the strangest adaptation of a property into a Saturday morning cartoon. I believe only Doug and Rob gave answers. Not really important what they were. A few weeks down the road, and I saw a short live NC segment called "Was That Real." which was essentially a, a series based on my question. I refuse to believe that this was a coincidence, and it would really have been nice to get acknowledgement for the inspiration. After seeing Allison's uh, notion that Doug doesn't appreciate that you can be funny without uh, references and ripping someone off, I'm not surprised anymore. I found other CA folks... Yeah. I found other Channel Awesome folks to not be particularly pleasant, but I now realize that this was about the tipping point for many of them, so I'm not irritated about any of it anymore. I was for a second, though. Okay, next one. Ooh, next one's kind of long. Okay, let's see. LN. I first stumbled across that guy with the glasses back in 2010, when I had issues with losing my job and some resultant, oh, some resultant depression. This was about the time that Kikasi was being made, which is what really caught my attention, and I thought it was hysterical. The whole site cheered me up considerably. I was primarily a fan of the critic and the, uh, the chick and Linkara to a lesser extent. I participated in the form threads, not very memorably since I have no concrete memories of my own posts, but I remember enjoying the experience. I was excited when they announced that the site was splitting up into different segments because I really wanted to participate, but I'm not keen on making videos. When I found out about Blister Thumbs becoming a thing, it seems like the post of PC Gamer Editor would be perfect for me because it involved computer games and writing, two things I love. I applied, I joined the new site, and was made a forum mod shortly thereafter. So, with, uh, okay, let me just scroll down. So, I did have some interactions with uh, Angry Joe. A lot of this is fuzzy, but I do remember there being small issues with my reluctance to use Skype. I didn't know anything about it at the time, except that it was a video chat thing, and I wasn't comfortable with that. 
being a forum mod was fun as I was the only female moderator and I felt like we needed that representation. Wow, representation in forum moderations. How low can you fucking stoop? Okay, Rolo T was always very nice to me and I liked the other mods. Joe kept telling us that he was responding to people's applications and that if we hadn't gotten formal rejections, it meant we were uh, still in the running. I was starting to wonder if I was ever going to hear about mine, but he, would, uh, he wouldn't so much as confirm for me that they had received it, in hindsight he may have uh, been gagged by management, but that never occurred to me at the time. And then the site went down. As we all know, it never came back. I eventually gave up checking and I kind of drifted away from that guy with the glasses as a whole. I had a new job by then, I was moving and I had other things going on. I missed the BT crew a little, but mostly I was annoyed because I had never even gotten acknowledgement for my application or my tenure as a moderator. Even a rejection would have been something. While I was away from the site, meanwhile, that guy with the glasses transitioned into Channel Awesome and the critic was retired. I never saw or heard anything about Demo Reel. I don't even remember how I got back into the whole thing to discover the changes. But by the time I did, critic had returned. I stopped visiting Channel Awesome website completely after a few visits because it brought back a lot of bittersweet memories of what Blister Thumbs was supposed to have become and how those of us who were... Uh, involved in a non-producer manner were set adrift with no further contact. I met Linkar at a, at a con. After having interacted with him a few times on Tumblr, he had never struck me as especially warm, warm on Tumblr, which I attribute to the text medium. But at the con, he was the same. In particular, he had to stop playing Pokemon to get his picture taken with me, and he gave me the impression that he didn't appreciate it, it stung, especially since I mostly went to the con in question so that I could meet him. I stopped watching him and following him on Tumblr after that. I also met Doug at, Doug at the con and I must have, uh, and I must give him this credit, he was very amiable. I like him a lot, so it's very disheartening to read how much he has uh, allowed to happen even before all this went down, I had been limiting myself to occasionally viewing viewings of critic stuff on YouTube. It's usually been his uh, older stuff that I watch, and the first two anniversary crossovers. I even have Kikassia DVD. It's hard to look at any of it. Anything that goes down in recent weeks makes me feel like I dodged a bullet by never getting the chance to really appreciate... I, uh, to really participate, I hope that each of you who have uh, left the site lands someplace better and I wish you all the best. I'm sorry this has gone on so long, but I guess I had a lot to say. Thanks for letting me say it. None of this was useful. Whoever you are, whoever made this, uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're wasting everyone's time, just like I am right now. Let's see how the chat is doing. Really, really enjoying your uh, comments. No, no, no. You watch little girl cartoons. Nope. Okay, I guess they're talking to the guy who threatened to kill me. Yeah, they're making fun of the guy who threatened to kill me for uh, for criticizing Mr. Enter. Glad they're uh, they're having fun. Go back to to Equestria, you horse cock lover. I'm I'm starting to like my chat. I'm I'm starting to change my opinion of them. They're they they seem to be having fun. MLP better than the Dragon Ball Super plus Jojo. I feel triggered. Let's see what else. Make me wonder if Easy PC is even even reading the chat. No, I'm not reading the chat. I really I can't focus on both things at once. I keep getting distracted, so I just I minimized it and I'm checking once in a while to see what's going on. If you were in my house right now, I'd kiss you. What's what is going on here? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Let's get back to the to the document. God, I hate the chat. The chat is awful. Okay, next story. Lizzie. Oof, this one is a short one, thank God. I suppose this doesn't matter much in the grand scheme of what's gone down, but in my one interaction with Rob, he was a complete and total dick to me. Not a big surprise. 
All I did was agree with something he said about RT on his Facebook page, and he responded to me saying I was. He responded to me saying I was lazy and shouldn't comment if I didn't have anything new to add to the conversation. RT, I guess, is Rooster Teeth. Okay, so I guess uh, Rob hates Rooster Teeth. Well, he was uh, jealous of literally anyone who made other videos except for uh, for that guy with the glasses. There was like he had an animosity for for every other website. Like there were his competitors, even though they didn't give a shit about him. Okay, next story. Let's see this one. Okay, lucky I guess. I like many others, submitted a video when they were uh, looking for new talent. I never got a reply back. I didn't even get a rejection. At first, I just figured that with so many submissions, it made sense if some of them fell through the cracks, especially since my video was on the longer side. With all this new information though, I'm beginning to suspect that if you didn't have uh, a big subscriber count, they wouldn't even bother with you. This is especially annoying since they... Uh, dissuaded people from using more simplistic editing methods. The only direct interaction I've had with Lindsay Alice, and I wouldn't necessarily call it bad, quote-unquote, a bad experience, when she quit Channel Awesome, I sent her a message on Tumblr saying that she inspired me to become a reviewer. She sent me a short few sentences telling me that it, it's probably not the best idea to pursue that path. Wow, what a cunt. Now I don't have the message anymore after deleting my Tumblr. Back then I thought that that was kind of rude. Now I realize how terrible the situation must have been if she truly felt the need to warn some rando about it, it being a bad idea. She could have easily sent a copy-paste thank you for the kind message type thing, but no, she answered in a way that was not only that not only confirmed that she read what I wrote, but thought her experience was bad enough to warn me. Okay, next story. Okay, we're on page six, more or less now. This is pretty minor compared to a lot of the other stories, but back in 2011, I was waiting in line at a convention for an autograph signing with Doug Walker and, Brent, and Brad Jones. It was a huge line that stretched out into the convention hall, I happened to be standing near some sort of uh, side entrance into the hall. I was looking down at my phone or otherwise distracted when something when something scraped past the back of my ankle. I let out an audible owl to get the attention of whoever stepped on my heel. I looked behind me to see a rolling suitcase. One of the wheels had hit me. Speeding by. Attached to the arm of someone in a suit, barreling through the crowd hallway at a quick pace. As it turns out, it was Doug himself. He didn't cut me or anything, but it did hurt. And I could have been avoided if he wasn't trying to shove past the crowd as silently as the grave. A crowd there specifically to see him, by the way. A simple excuse me would have uh, cleared me and probably everyone else in his way. As an aside, I wasn't a big fan of Brad at the time, but he was pretty much the Yang to Doug's Yang. Both in front of the crowd and any time we saw him afterwards, Doug was ignoring someone trying to tell him hello, like full on scurrying away to try to play it off like he was too far away to hear them. Brad, on the other hand, shot the shit with everyone, gave out merch and autographs for free. Just a chill guy all around, I actually started watching his content because of how cool he was that day. And I still check his videos out, check his videos out pretty regularly. Okay, so I guess Doug's a little bit of an asshole too. <laughs> okay, next story. Nicholas. Okay, let me let me see what the chat is doing. That that's always a treat. Top chat. Star of David. Pony. Symbols. Okay, they're still arguing about My Little Pony. Rest in peace, Spoonie's unborn baby. Thanks, Lindsay. Uh, oh my god, great. 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 Is Digby the goat in the fucking chat? Is Digby here? Did someone just say Digby? It's Digby. Hey, Digby, what's up? I'm not, I'm not going to read your response because I'm going back. I have 
50,000 chats more laggy than blah blah blah. I can't read this. This keeps going by too fast. Let's see. Do you guys think there's there will be accusations of sexual harassment? She works on power. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about, so I'm just gonna gonna move on ahead. Jesus Christ, we're already an hour in. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, next story. Okay, I discovered Nostalgia Critic in 2011 and followed him for a few years. He was an inspiration, and he and other producers on the site awakened my desire to review stuff. In late 2014, I had heard that Doug was coming to a convention a few hours away from where I live. There had been stories before of uh, issues happening. <coughs> ah, got a lot of gas today. Oh, oh, you be. Okay, enough Jew jokes. Okay, happening. I heard a lot of stories about issues happening at the anniversary specials, but nothing too major. Then the story with uh, Allison and Flynn happened in January 2015. Maybe a week at most before the convention, I met Doug Walker. Um, bought That Guy with the Glasses Volume 4. He signed it, and now I'm stuck with it. I remember him riffing on the Super Mario Brothers movie uh, shown on YouTube. Later in the convention, I saw him again and had time to chat more. And uh, brought up the le leaving Allison and Fleen and how it had us fans worried for the site. He told me not to worry, he uh, addressed it, he'd address it. Convention ends, I come home, get on Facebook, and find out I, along with most others who tried to talk to him about the issue, got blocked from posting on the Facebook page. Hmm, interesting. At the time, I took it as the shattering of the pedestal I had put him on. I kept watching channel... I kept watching... Uh, and C, Nostalgia Critic, till the review of Pixels. Oh yeah, I hated the clipless, clipless review. Then dropped. Um, and there was, and and here we are, three years later, with an entire history of bullcrap coming out and many producers leaving. And I'm glad to see so many people leaving that dumpster fire of a site. Okay, so they blocked people for. Uh, for asking, so, so basically what this means is that people walked up to him, asked him a question he didn't want to answer, he told them he'll he'll address it, then he went back home and blocked all of them on Facebook so he doesn't have to have to hear about it again. Wow, that's a that's a class act. Okay, let's see. Uh, next one. I know separating the art from the artist is often put out as some. Uh, some internet fan ideal but given what's been coming out of the woodworks on twitter i don't really think it's applicable to nostalgia critics content i'd be curious to see what nostalgia critic viewers view, view demographics are now because it's certainly been exhausting to me to be a feminine I, feminine identifying person seeing review after review over the years, mocking the content I like, Nostalgia Critic's reaction and treatment of his of his recurring hyper fangirl character made my stomach crawl and in hindsight so do his early crossovers with Nostalgia Chick. No idea what this is about, I guess this person is imagining some sort of discrimination. And I, I don't believe it about Doug. I believe it about Mike, but not about Doug. Okay, let, let's, let's continue. The subject I find engaging and putting female love and fandom on the same pedestal as misogynistic sexism. See the Fury Road review for this part hot garbage? No idea. You can't both sides love versus hate. Not to mention the horrible trans joke about whack... Ch I don't know who this is. Whack... Was kiss. I, okay, people who know who Channel Awesome people are will probably get who this is. Okay, the Channel Awesome team, I gather, wanted to avoid controversy in quotation marks by ignoring social issues and maybe not crack jokes. So by ignoring social issue discussions or using social specific terms, but they would really do well to at least educate themselves on trans issues and maybe not crack jokes about them. It's a shame that I can't enjoy 
nostalgic critic like I used to, but there comes a point where you get tired of uh, feeling embarrassed, shamed, or hurt by people putting out, putting down, or liking things, by people putting putting you down for liking things, or for being who you are, and I can't imagine I'm alone in that. Hell, I'm sure many female fans reached that point long before I did, though I... I really love Malcolm and especially Tamara. I wish them all the luck in their work with Channel Awesome and in any future endeavors they pursue. Okay. This next comment just said, I compiled my history of Channel Awesome in Twitter moments. Okay, I'm not, I'm not clicking the link. I don't care. Maybe I'll do a separate stream for that if it's long enough. I'll leave you guys a link to this thing if I can figure out where to upload it and to the Twitter moments thing down in the, in the description. You, you, can, you can figure it out yourselves on that. If, you, if you're editing a link, just, just put it in the fucking document. I don't care about your fucking Twitter moments. Okay, Richard R. I wrote for uh, Blistered Thumbs for a brief period while at college. I was paid in exposure. Pretty much everyone who wrote for the site was. But at the time, I was uh, grateful to be working alongside people who, who, I, who I had watched and enjoyed for a long while. However, as time went on and college started to dampen more and more of my time, demand more and more of my time, God, I'm illiterate, I had to take time away from uh, writing on the site more and more until I just stopped altogether, culminating in a brief depression following my graduation. And no one ever... No one ever contacted me people probably should have uh, should have double checked what they wrote it's literally one pa paragraph but then again my latest video i accidentally wrote wrote conclusion instead of conclusion so i'm not one to judge okay no one ever no one ever contacted me no one ever asked me if i was okay and once the site was going down i was never told about it like many others who wrote for the site and while i don't feel my writing for the site was uh, the best stuff I had ever done, I would have liked to have been informed so I could have at least gotten copies of the stuff I had written. All that writing is now lost to time, wiped from uh, a broken hard from a broken hard drive, the, str the stress of college mixed with uh, feeling alone, isolated and unpredictable didn't do my dark feelings any favors when I did finally graduate. Okay, a lot of this is personal stories. Like, I don't care how you feel. What they actually do? Okay, ne next story. Let's see if this is long. At least we're uh, nearing the end. <sighs> okay. Rob the Wonderful. So this is something I've never brought up publicly, but I did have some brief interactions with Channel Awesome CEO Mike Mashad. Okay, this is probably going to be good. In the big picture, it might seem insignificant, and I was uh, debating if it was even worth bringing up, but I decided it would be best to document it. In 2008-2009, I was working for a friend who was looking to start up a convention. During the time we were looking to get guests, me and some others were on staff suggested getting uh, Doug since his popularity was on the rise and he might be a good draw. My friend, who I shall refer to as the boss, to protect their identity, didn't know who he was but agreed as long as I took care of getting him. So I reached out to Rob Walker and he said, they're all coming but I need to talk to the site owner Mike Mashad. At the time I didn't know they had a boss and thought that that was kind of weird. But I then reached out to him and he agreed to them coming to the con. At this point, I should mention details are a bit fuzzy since this was almost 10 years ago and I haven't thought of it much until now. What happened was the boss needed an agreement signed and for weeks I heard nothing from Ashad. I even set up a meeting with him and the boss over Skype, but he never even showed up. I then contacted Rob again and asked him what was going on and he said something along the lines of, Mashad goes out to play basketball with his friends and sometimes isn't around to answer calls. At this point, the con date was slowly approaching and the boss, I love saying that, 
was kind of uh, a stickler for getting for getting contracts finalized for the con. So I just kept trying. Finally, one day, out of nowhere, I get a call from Doug. Yes, the nostalgia critic himself called my personal phone to get things finalized. At the time, I was kind of speechless and even a bit starstruck, but I maintained my composure because I want to be professional. Though it did make for a funny story later on. Anyway, we got the contract signed and made travel arrangement, but the way Mashad gave me the runaround always felt always left a bad taste in my mouth. As for the walkers, I don't have much to say. I've uh, met them both on multiple I've met them both multiple times at conventions and even had lunch with them. They seem like nice guys on the surface, but I'm well aware people can be two-sided. I will, however, share one thing I found out while talking to them. I was new to reviewing at the time, and one of them, and one of the issues I had at the time, and sometimes still, was figuring out what to review next. So I decided to ask Doug how he picked what he reviews next for Nostalgia Critic. He told me that he doesn't pick what the next uh, Nostalgia Critic review was, but rather it's chosen for him, presumably by Mashad. Question mark. I was kind of shocked and confused to hear this. I don't know if this is still the case, but I think it might be the might be a fact worth noting for this document. Yet yeah, it, it feels like Mashad kind of got a, a real stranglehold on these people. Like he he decides everything for him. Okay, okay. Let me let me get a drink and let me see how the chat is doing because that's always a great disappointment for me. Please no bully. Di okay, are, are are they still bullying the brony? Are you guys still fucking with, with the brony? Yeah, they're they're still fucking with the with the with the brony. Great. And, and any any not not listening to anything I'm saying. Great. No, but the, but it's fun. Let, pick pick on the brony. It's it's a, it's a lot of fun. I'm sure. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. Okay. Okay, let's see. Sean. I met Doug Walker, Malcolm Tamara, and Brad Jones at Fan World in Niagara Falls in 2016. I almost said Nigeria. Fan World was in I almost said Niger in Niagara Falls. I'm just gonna say Nigeria from from now on. And as such there was there were events taking place on the Canadian and American side of the border. I went to the event on the Canadian side when I arrived at the meet and greet that Doug, Malcolm, Tamara, and Brad were at, there were around 40 to 50 people in line ahead of me, and the four guests were sitting at a table in order listed above from left to right. People were getting autographs, and from my perspective, it seemed that nearly every person got a photo with them. I got to the front of the line and got to meet Brad first, he was so nice, exclamation mark, I'm not good at emoting, I guess. I told him I was a longtime fan, and he seemed so grateful and sincere. I got his autograph, and then I met Malcolm and Tomorrow, who were both really nice. As well, finally I met Doug. Maybe he was just in a bad mood or something, but he seemed to just want to sign autographs and be done with me. I asked if I could get a autograph, an autograph, it's supposed to be an autograph, with him after seeing several before me do the same and he turned me down saying that he had to go to the panel they were hosting very soon from there i had to walk away to allow the next person in line to have their turn i went to the very back of the line again got to the front and asked brad for a photo who was sitting at the same table as doug and was going to the exact same panel afterwards and immediately he hopped up and t took the photo with me I left the room, the event ended shortly thereafter, and they lingered around for a little while before heading to the panel. I don't understand why Doug wouldn't take a ten second wouldn't take ten seconds to take a photo with me when he had done it with countless people right before me, and a few people afterwards, and clearly had time to spare, given that the panel didn't start until 
over 40 minutes after the event ended. Too long to didn't read. I have nothing but good things to say. Good things to say about Malcolm tomorrow, and Brad. But Doug Walker was a bit of a dick when I met him. Ah. Okay. Next story. So, Sukino. Okay, that's that's the name. My actual experience with Channel Awesome is a fleeting one and took place many years ago. For a fleeting one, this certainly is a, a long segment. This person, I guess, enjoys talking. Okay, this took place when Channel Awesome was putting out a public call for new content creators, though a mess through yeah, though a massive open audition. I guess that was supposed to be through. Yeah, I, I'm not wrong. I was a big fan of a number of the contributors as the time at the time, contributors at the time, and also looking to bring attention to some of my work. The big difference was I only did and still do written creative efforts as a freelance writer and fiction author. I emailed Channel Awesome I emailed Channel Awesome direction to see if they were interested in anything like that, and was given the answer that they were and had they were and had that I should and am welcome to submit something. I wrote up an article on the very first WrestleMania event actually and wrote several different versions to see what they were looking for creatively. I sent it in and waited. At the same time, I was submitting free articles to the site at the time to become more acquainted with the people on the site. Months passed by with just small updates from Doug and Rob through the Nostalgia Critic video at the time. All the while, I thought that they may have had a chance since I was filling a different role and the video producers had plenty to offer. I'm not really, I guess I'm confused a little bit by this person's grammar. What Rob mentioned the first time around, what Rob mentioned the first round of cuts were going to be the people that this line's kind of that didn't send much of anything above a video showing the stuff they liked and wanted to review instead of what they can do creatively. I didn't think I had much to worry about, especially if they were looking for writers. Then I got the email. Turns out there was n no real want for writer for written content at all. I had been invited to send written content to a video producer audition and then sat and waited like an idiot the whole time. Not only was I disappointed in not getting any kind of role creatively with the site, but I loathed myself for believing the original email I received. It took a long time to get over that or look at the site the same way again. So while my story isn't as bad as many others have shared and lived through, mine wasn't a cheerful one either. While I never got to work for the site or anyone, of, or anyone who works there officially, it may have been better that I didn't. Okay, next guy. That Canadian guy. The guy with, that guy with the glasses hit it big when I was in college. At the time, I was experimenting with blogging. So when I found out that bloggers could submit their content to that guy with the glasses, I got excited and began contributing a series of blogs to that guy with the glasses under that Canadian, under the, uh, that Canadian guy moniker. I enjoyed writing there. My content was uh, top tens and other series in which I defended elements of pop culture that I felt were unjustly ignored or hated on, such as the classic vampire Twilight was so big at the time. I don't know what that means. I had a small but loyal following, and I remember collaborating with my fellow bloggers. One collab was Top 12 Bond Girls, and another was Top 10 Female Badasses. I had hoped that eventually I would be made a 
featured blogger, but it never happened. They never replied to my inquiry about making a about making blogs a bigger part of the site and doing more to recognize bloggers. I got more recognition from my uh, fellow bloggers than I ever did from that guy with the glasses. Then when that guy with the glasses changed to Channel Awesome, they began caring less and less about blogs to the point that I also stopped caring. That guy with the glasses was a great source of entertainment for me while I was in college. I looked up to the producers, especially Doug, and it's sad to see how the mighty have fallen. I used to religiously watch Nostalgia Critic and the other producers. I told anyone I knew who had an interest in film and pop culture about them. Now Channel Awesome is a husk of its formal self, former self. Funny Nostalgia Critic videos are now replaced with Doug's arrogant preaching about movies he hates and unfunny skits. Now I learned that he may have allowed some pretty shitty things to happen to people I admire. Maybe it's a good thing I never got any recognition from him, from them. Okay, let's see how the chat is doing, so I can, uh, so I can try to kill myself later. Okay, they're still, uh, they're still bullying the brony. Good job. Blah blah blah. Yep, Stella. Uh, still messing with the, the brony. I guess uh, I guess the chat is having fun. Really, really happy you're uh, you're enjoying yourselves. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I, I I'm actually enjoying watching that, but I have to actually get back. Okay, get back to what I'm doing. We are on page what? Oh, page eight. Okay, the shades. I am one of the co-founders and head admin of a similar site to Channel Awesome called RVT, formerly Reviewtopia. Oh, did, who did, wait a minute, did, did Dev write this? Did, uh, did Shorah Faotaku write this? Probably, one of his friends did. On top of Channel Awesome stealing most of our top contributors, which I can't be too mad at, about as many of said contributors originally wanted to work for Channel Awesome to begin with, there were a few times some of them still wanted to continue to work for us while still working under Channel Awesome. However, Mike made it clear that these uh, producers were not allowed to even use our bumper at the end of their videos. As far as Mike was concerned, if you were a part of Channel Awesome, you were only a part of Channel Awesome, we actually worked with Holly to try to address the issue and even had a text chat with her and Mike simply to address this while we eventually did work out something to allow our bumpers. It was uh, clear Mike was not happy with this. Uh, two of our former producers who also worked for Channel Awesome have their own dreaded stories, one of which is... Uh, publicly known, though the one involved will likely not share it here. The other is not as well known, and while I will also not share it here, it is out of respect for that person. I will let them decide if they want to share it. I will say it involves Rob and a level of unprofessionalism that is so unbelievable. I was flabbergasted when they shared it with me. Yeah, all par for the course, I guess. Okay, next story. Vanny. This is one of the more minor instances, but I once tried to friend Doug Walker on Facebook, only to be sent a notification saying that my friend request was considered abuse <laughs> and that I would be suspended indefinitely if I sent another one. Wow. I get that he may want to only interact with his friends and family, but... Nonetheless, this notification left a felt harsh and made me feel terrible. Even sorry, I sent a request in the first place. That was the that was all the interaction between us, and it happened a year or two ago. Then two weeks ago, I wrote a post on Rob on uh, on Rob Walker's page regarding the nostalgia critic review of Beauty and the Beast remake of the Beauty and the Beast remake. 
Of course, he never responded. However, I should note that he only recently approved my post just this week. This was after Lewis Lovehog, Linkar, I guess, released a statement announcing his departure as well as sharing a link to this document, which seems a bit dodgy in my book. It really is a shame because despite these instances, I really enjoyed the content on Channel Awesome, specifically Nostalgia Critic, and was planning on finally driving out to Momocon with my husband so I could finally meet them. I have never unsubscribed from Channel Awesome on YouTube and have unfollowed. I have unsubscribed from Channel Awesome on YouTube and have unfollowed Doug, Doug and Rob's uh, Facebook page, but currently remain connected to Tomorrow Chambers and will also continue to follow Lindsay Alice online. All right. Okay, next story. Anonymous. While nothing happened to me personally, it was an event that I that I witnessed live. That while I had. That while I had my issues with the site at the time, became irreparable beginning of the end for my opinion of Channel Awesome. During the charity live stream where they raised money for the Ronald McDonald House, a fact they never once mentioned during the stream itself, which I'm sure made RDH very happy, because when you're doing an event with the Walkers, it's going to inevitably become all about them, and to fund Kikassia. There are several things that I will always remember about that night. Rob Walker wearing a dinosaur, a dinosaur mask for reasons known only to him. Fuck Santa Christ, by the way. I don't know what that means. The entire crew, the entire crew had assembled there. Angry Joe, Last Angry Geek, Lindsay Linkara, Spoonie, etc. Had already used Doug's ample supply of liquor at his home bar to get completely plastered and turn the whole event into a bigger drunken train wreck as the night went on. This was basically all this charity event was. The Channel Awesome people hanging out in Doug's admittedly sweet bar, getting shit-faced, doing little comedy bits, maybe a live review or two, Embarrassing themselves, their website, and the charity none of them could have given less of a shit about. It was perversely entertaining, but the highlight of the night and the microcosm of what was uh, wrong with both Channel Awesome, with Channel Awesome both then and now, was a part during the event where if you donated a certain amount of money, I think 200 or 300, you got to ask Spoonie, who was then at the peak of his... Uh, nerd powers and was still early into his descent into madness, a question over sp over Skype. Someone did, so the caller, who again paid for the privilege to talk to one of his internet heroes, asked a question pertaining to Final Fantasy IX. I can't recall the nature of said question, it could have been about what he thought of the game or more likely whether or not he... Uh, plan to review it, and instead of giving an answer, Spoonie told him, your question annoys me, and I'm going to hang up on you, which he then did. Classic Spoonie. On a guy who, who yet again, paid not an insignificant amount of money to talk to him, this got an awkward Jerry Springer audience-like reaction from the other contributors, especially from Angry Joe, who did his usual obnoxious mugging that had been getting more obnoxious the more the more seats I don't know what I don't know what that word, word is, is the, the more, more seats, seats he added to the wind. wind. <laughs> Spoonie was, was never punished, punished for being a dick biscuit, a trend that would continue as the years rolled by until the infamous rage joke tweet, and for embarrassing channel the channel's awesome brand. Nor was he, to my knowledge, even uh, reprimanded for his conduct. Perhaps there, there's a now ex-contributor who was in the room that night and was quite hammered enough to perhaps mistreat Spoonie Fan himself. Okay, what am I reading here? No, okay, I'm going to try it again. 
Perhaps there's a now ex-contributor who was in the room that night and wasn't quite hammered enough to perhaps... Or perhaps the mistreatment of Spoonie fan himself, the mistreated Spoonie fan himself, can recall the real story. But regardless, so began the true death of my respect for Noah and Father and for Channel Awesome. Can you tell that English is not my first language? Is it, is it noticeable enough? Oh, they managed to raise at least $60,000 from that dumpster fire of a live stream. Okay, let's see how the chat is doing. Brap, live stream your balls dropping, live stream your balls dropping. <sighs> Great. Let's see what else. Okay, they're still bullying the brony. Great. Great job. I'm, gl I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. What, what, they're talking about John K, the, the cartoonist. Again, live stream your balls dropping. That's that's very funny. Thanks. I'm glad you're all enjoying this. I'm I'm certainly not enjoying it. John K. Finadil, my fiddle. Okay, I, I'm 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 wholly disappointed, and I'm going back to reading this document. God, will this ever end? Okay. Next one by anonymous. Isn't this supposed to be in alphabetical order? Maybe they put all the anonymous ones at, at the bottom. Okay, let me just get a drink here. Okay, besides my gripe about the brief hiring of the Amazing Atheist under a different name, I used to be a big fan of the Walkers. I think he was hired by them first and then he became the Amazing Atheist. I don't think that, that this guy got the timeline right. Okay, never mind. Even defending him to friends and family during the Lord Cat and Spoonie debacle. However, my breaking point starts started with Angry Joe monetizing his tribute to Jew Wario. Okay, let me stop here. Let me let me give you the timeline of events of the Jew Wario incident. So Jew Wario, uh, he, what's what's the word here? He uh, he grooms a bunch of underage girls. He rapes someone. Channel Awesome finds out fires him, soon after he kills himself, then one of the people on Channel Awesome who didn't know he was a rapist asks Mike Mashad if he can make a tribute. Mike Mashad, who knew about this, tells this guy to fuck himself and that they will make a tribute by someone who actually cares about and makes Doug do it So there, because he knows no one knows that Jew Warrior raped someone so, there, so that he can maximize the profiting off of... Uh, off of this guy's death. That's uh, that's uh, that's that's pretty great. That's pretty amazing. Okay. Oh, and by the way, he uh, he kicked Jew Wario out for uh, for raping them, but shortly before uh, he killed himself, he was considering bringing him back to the channel. That that's how bad this was. He actually thought about rehiring a rapist. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Where was I? Two to two. Monetizing the Chew Wario, which seemed wrong, but at the time I bought bought the assurance that it was accidental. I have been suicidal once and hearing that started the beginning of doubt in the channel awesome way. Then I hear about the autism joke from the old Ernest Safe's Christmas copy. Being an Asperger type high functioning ASD person, I started to wonder about Channel Awesome and ADA compliance with uh, with employees past and future, as well as questioning the Walker's rumors in general humor in general. This wouldn't be my first issue with ableism here. Another time I saw Philos, I don't know how that's pronounced whose name was spelled wrong on his uh, parting post. Now there's, now there's a tell. And his, uh, his friends being ousted for standing up for, them, for themselves when I asked what they had done on Channel Awesome. Hold on, let me just scroll down. What, when I asked what they had done, 
on the channel asked in the comment section later on. I was attacked, called a retard, cynic, and ass burger by various Walker cult members. I had previously amic am 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 God, I'm retarded. amicably chatted about Channel Awesome's frivolities. About, okay? Demanding I take the post down, despite my question being reasonable and motives and motivated out of a concern for my favorite contributors. I was scared due to one of them who shall be referred to as Looney hereafter, Luna hereafter. So I tried to contact some authorities on the site. Instead, I was given no help no response, and being naive at the time, I went over to the site admins. I went over the site admins head and tried to contact the staff proper. Nothing. And it continued to the point where Luna was successfully obtaining my personal information and had threatened to dox me if I didn't get out of town. To put in his words, him and other Walkerites are still unbanned to this day. I had to erase an entire series of accounts from across the internet and rebrand myself under a new name to avoid internet stalking and harassment for questioning St. Doug of, Sa of Santa Christ and caring about my fellow humans. Don't know what that means. So yeah, Channel Awesome has ableism related problems. Well, maybe because they're all retarded. Let me see, lost my place. Regarding bullying and harassment, if that wasn't enough, I later learned that I was counter complained about by my harassers and became the channel and because the channel awesome comments were moderated like high school, abusers spewing identical counter statements were believed over statements were believed over mine by the unknown mod I did manage to get a hold of, who never asked me to tell, refute, rebut, or explain my side. So yeah, the comment section and forum have always been a garbage fire, and I sympathize and empathize with, with the nerd to the third powers testimony because it had happened to me as well, but with toxic... Sorry? With toxic, uncalled sheeple of the Walker TV chanters cutting me off from uh, mod support by counterclaiming and ruining my name behind my back to other site members. Yep, that happened to me too. Glad I'm gone after I deleted my second stress free account. I don't need a community site whose higher staff would ignore a ASD person begging for help and relief after being abused due to high school principal based mod logic. Okay, we are on the last page. Let's see how the chat is doing. Prepare for disappointment and let's see what's going on here. Okay, first comment I'm looking at, there is no God. They're comparing, what, what are they talking about? Jesus Christ. Still bullying the brony though. So again, great job. No idea what's going on here. And I am just gonna go back to doing what I was doing. Okay, Anonymous. I've been a fan of Channel Awesome since the very beginning, so I was able to see early signs of unprofessionalism from Mike Mashad. I remember looking at the comment section of one of the uh, Nostalgia Critic videos back when it was that guy with the glasses and someone was complaining about an ad or bumper or something. Instead of Mike addressing this professionally and politely explaining the purpose of the ad, he goes on an angry rant saying something around the lines of, I swear to God I will have you banned if any of you comment about the ads again, I don't want to hear about it. This was around 2010, so I don't remember 
word for word, but I just remember him threatening to ban anyone who commented about the ads like a psychopath. I understand that it's annoying for people to complain about the ads and having to repeat yourself, but he went he went about the whole thing unprofessionally. Okay, I think this one is the last one. Anonymous. In the Nostalgia Critic review of Jupiter Ascending, they had a skit at the beginning very awkwardly addressing Lena oh, Wachowski, Luna, Lana Wachowski being a trans woman in a way that honestly felt offensive to me, asking if she should rather be played by a man because she was a man in the past, etc. Well, I think that's a valid question. I kind of shrugged this off as the team just being kind of uneducated on trans issues. However, in the review for Wild Wild West, a film which there is a lot of drag, in which there is a lot of drag, there are some very negative comments concerning the disguise of one of the male characters about how he's not convincingly portraying a woman. Many people brought this up as criticism, seeing how this enforces negative stereotypes against trans people and portraying them as basically men. Doug and, Ro Doug and Rob seem to have shrugged off this kind of negative response because people like these jokes. I'm kind of baffled that contributors to the site get banned for speaking out against social injustice, but the main attraction is allowed to be ableist and transphobic, and that's okay because people think it's funny. Think. There's supposed to be a K there, not a, not a G. You, you, you fucking tranny. Okay, so we are done, and I am dying of heat. I'm not sure if I got super chats. Okay, apparently I do have like three super chats, so I'll read them. Thank God there are only three. I did not want to read all of this. Okay, uh, er, Rao Iri for two dollars. Was this document released recently? No, this document was part of the entire channel. Awesome, uh, what was the name? The not so awesome channel uh, document. It had a link to a part that was written by uh, by fans, not by people who were part of the site, and uh, oh, and at some point the link was deleted. But some people still had the link, went over there, and they realized that um, that you could still go to the link itself. But then I went over there again, and they uh, deleted that as well. So, so good job, I guess they. But someone kept a copy, I got a copy of that copy, and I decided to read it because I don't want this part to be lost. Because the, that guy, uh, what's his name, uh, down the rabbit hole, read the entire document and he looked at this and he said, I'm not, I'm not going to read this part. But, you know, this, this is some good drama. People should, should know this part as well. I think they, they'd enjoy it. And I think a lot of them would not bother reading it for themselves. So even with my annoying voice and all of that, at least they'll listen to it sort of. Okay, I hope that answers the question. Okay, next uh, question. Failure to J to jive. Failure to jive. Hey, nice name. I like that. For $5. Oh, come on. Trashy chat is part of the fun. Don't blame lame. Don't become lame like Cuck Alaska and call your chat problematic. Also take my shekels. Thank you for your shekels. I'm not going to call my my chat problematic. I'm just going to call them retarded faggots, okay? I, I, I have nothing but love for my retarded fucking chat, who are a bunch of fucking losers. I, I hate you all. Fuck you. Fuck your comments. Fight me, IRL. I will... But no, but seriously, I don't moderate my... I'm, if, I, if I do more streams, which I don't intend to, I will never moderate my chat. I will never ban anyone. Do whatever you want in the chat. But... I'm, I'm going to call you names. That's that's the deal I have with my fans. I hate my fans, and my fans hate me. They're not even my fans. They're they're literally just a bunch of assholes who watch my videos. I I hope one day I, I have an excuse to go to a convention and meet one of you, and I will strangle you all. I will strangle the first one who comes too close to me. Ne next question. IRL Luigi says, Hi. I'm, gl I'm glad this is becoming a running a running gag. For two dollars, two dollars to tell me hi, great. And for a dollar ninety nine, ID ten ninety eight 
says, live stream your balls dropping. Again, great. I, I'm, gl I'm glad you're enjoying this, uh, this little gag at my, at my expense. Is there a way to refresh this? I want to make sure that I didn't miss anyone. Can you guys... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and... If I refresh this, is this gonna just close? Is there like a separate window for super chats? I really should have done this before. <laughs> I should have checked all of this uh, before. Okay, well that's enough. Let's see what the chat the, the chat is still bowling the brony. The chat is still bowling the brony. Okay, um, let's see what you guys have to say for a few more minutes. It's uh, we're at an hour and fifty four minutes, so I'll I'll just. Wait the entire two hours because it's really hot in here. I want I want to die. <sighs> Let me get some water. God. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Anything interesting in the chat? No. Two nukes surely wasn't enough. Mister Medicor is Bay. Uh, soy boy Nintendo fag. Okay, all these comments are awful, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait the the last few minutes before I log off. Hashtag three nukes. Anyone got any questions for me? Any anyone wanna want me to say anything? If you already asked me, I didn't look, so you have to ask me again. Okay, so the Brony is asking me so easy. Can Yoi tell your fans not to hate on Bronies, please? No, you should hate on Bronies. They're literally the, the most autistic fan base. If you meet a Brony, beat them up. Easy. I'm only half of that. I don't know what you're talking about. Nuke the bronies. Give me a boyfriend. The chat is going by too fast. That's okay. This is pretty long. Can't read it fast enough. The too long. Blah 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 blah. Okay. There's a complaint that the SJW letter is kind of that the fan letter is kind of stupid. There, there are a few funny gems here. I think it was uh, at least a bit enjoyable. Any 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 actual questions? Anything worth responding to? Please. I'm I'm incredibly disappointed by all of you. Anything? No. Still bullying the brony. Oy vey! You, you can all anyone who's still listening to this, you can leave now because this is all bullshit now. Six million brony these guys. Oy vey! We cannot have. Transphobical. You, you people can't even spell. Balls drop when. You know, if you if you tag me, then I'll see your question. React to Lindsay Alice rape rap. I'm not not going to do that. I I there's only so much cringe I can uh, withstand. Anything else? We still got like three more minutes of me being able to tolerate this. Please help us help us bull him. I'm, I'm guessing you're trying to say bully. Gas the bronies again. Hey everyone in the chat, can we get a gas the bronies going? Just just post gas the bronies over and over, just for for a few minutes. See, you want me to name my favorite Steven Universe shipping? That will be a uh, lapis imperidot. Hope you're uh, satisfied with that answer. Shut up, easy. This doesn't concern you. Re over and over asking me to react to the Lindsay Alice rape rap. I'm not going to do that. I'm coming to Israel so you can strangle me. Okay, but I will not do it in a sexual way. It will be literally to death. What's my favorite color? Shut the fuck up. Come to Israel. We have good goyim. Did you watch Mr. Medicare's video on that guy with the glasses? I did watch his videos. Um, I, I don't know enough about uh, that guy with the glasses for it to be interesting to me, so I didn't understand what a lot of it was. After hearing all of these fan complaints, I know and understand why Channel Awesome failed. The fans are SJWs. Easy peasy, are you circumcised? Well, come over and find out for yourself. Can you tell fans to raid Ryu's channel? No. And of course, and blah, 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 blah. These questions are going by too fast. Swastikas. More requests for me to strangle them. Why do you think Mr. Renter is more autistic than uh, than Maddox? Because at least Maddox doesn't scream at children's cartoons. Easy peasy implying Shadman. 
why do you appreciate your fans no i do not they're not even my fans they're just a bunch of assholes who congregate here tell them that you are a genuine brony because you are i am absolutely not how are you doing easy peasy very bad what is the next thing you're reviewing i'll be reviewing star versus the forces of evil i think but i'm gonna make like a short little joke video before that you might enjoy it how to heal from all this cancer don't know when are you going to live stream your suicide soon did you watch mr Rent you i already answered this live stream your balls dropping again how about the whole don't know what this person's name is more swastikas are you circumcised same questions over and over same questions over and over are you going to live stream more in the future probably not how am i F pretty bad again will you ever do a video on schmorky maybe uh shadman when what, what have i got to say about him stop asking me about shadman gas the bronies again gas oh i th it's the lag i can't i'm not actually watching this shit in real time so i guess this is uh, this is uh yeah how many goyim foreskins do you eat god i hate all of you okay let me, let me see if i go to the actual video i'll be able to see the chat in real time because i think there's a bit of lag and i think i'm very stupid i've never uh done these before so i don't know what's uh what the deal is See if I got any more stupid super chats I have to answer. Don't know how to refresh this, so probably not. No, nothing. And, okay, just give me a... I'm going to wait five more minutes. Okay, five more. Let's see what's going on on Twitter. Let's see if anyone asked me anything stupid on Twitter. Dangerous Analysis is telling me that if I wanted to hear a stirring Jew, I'd rob the Tel Aviv Gold Exchange. Thanks, Dangerous Analysis. Always, always a pleasure. Let's go to the actual thing and prepare to suffer some serious lag. Probably should have thought of this from the start. Okay, so I've been watching the chat with like 20 minutes lag for this entire time. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ask me stupid questions. When do we build the Brony Auschwitz? Can't. How long do I have to continue the stream? Because I'm already feeling like, like, like pretty suicidal. suicidal. Ketchup, Ketchup or mustard? Mustard. mustard. Elliot Rogers, Rogers did nothing wrong. Well, he, yeah, uh, he shot pretty poorly. Could have, uh, his, his massacre, massacre wasn't very successful. Did, did you realize that they spelled thing? What? Easy Pieces is Klaus Brony. No. Is this live stream staying up? Yes. Easy Pieces is a Brony. No, absolutely not. I. You, you, you people are, are breaking my heart. Easy peasy, are you gay? Only on the internet. Easy peasy, get well soon. Because because I'm a sick man, I guess. Easy peasy, Maddox screams at children's artwork instead. I, okay, I guess that's a, that's a fair point. What's your favorite movie? The Blues Brothers. Thoughts on Shotman's art? I, I, no comment, I plead the fifth. People think it's funny. Here's a new question. Will you do a video on rice gum? No, I don't care about rice gum. I have no interest in him. Any more questions? Just tag me. I'll wait for a few more minutes because that was... Uh, Who is your favorite YouTuber? Uh, the one I get constantly... Are you aware of E semicolon R? Yeah, okay, so that was part of my answer. Uh, my favorite YouTuber is Isan Kolinar. And of course, I get constantly accused of ripping him off. Uh, the, the, the Steven Universe video was sort of a rip-off. I even told him that. I was, I was mostly doing that to practice editing. I really like him because his editing is fucking superb. I wish I knew how to edit that well. That's, my, that's why he's my favorite YouTuber. Like, a lot of people make good content, but no one edits that fucking well. 
Okay, do you support an independent state of Palestine? I guess. Uh, do a video on the skeptic community. I might do a video on Sargon soon. How autistic are you? What, on a scale from 1 to 10, like a 9? Easy peasy, I know you don't want to, to, but what's... You want to, but that's what rape is all about. What's your thoughts on Jordan Peterson? I enjoy his lectures. You, oh, but he, he takes a lot of money, who, which, like, he, he, uh, he sucks the money out of his fans. I remember he was selling an autographed rug. What the fuck is that shit? Why is your icon a demon... Days recall. I don't know. My friend drew that for me. How many chromosomes do you have? Like several thousand. Uh, your thoughts on the whole? I don't know who. Just ah, just Utaku house stealing thing. I don't know enough about that. What's your opinion on the JQ? The only Jewish question I want answered is: Can I get a discount? Easy peasy. Come on, just the first sixteen. I don't know what what that is. Review the Holocaust. Ten out of ten would die again. Uh, have you seen EV10 page rant on Kiwi Farms and Twitter for outing his girlfriend as a pedo? No, I have not seen that. Send me a link on Twitter. Can you do all your videos in echo mode now? Absolutely. Less work for me. Am I being detained? Go away. Are you echoing because you are Jewish? Yes, you're hearing the sound of all the souls I've stolen. How did you come up with such a clever name? By the way, it's not easy peasy, it's EZPZ. Uh, why are you streaming in a cavern? Because that's where I live. Easy peasy, just the hook. Easy peasy, ketchup gang for life, I will kill you. God, I am. Can, can I stop now? Can you answer the insult question? I don't know what the insult question is. Will you bring back the lulz cast? I, I'm I'm trying to work on some content for the Encyclopedia Dramatica channel, uh, but I've been putting it off for like a really long time. It's much better content than the than the Lulz cast, I think. And once I start doing that, if that gets any traction, I'll revive the Lulz cast. Okay, um, easy peasy like emoji movie. Do you browse B? Not really. I I sort of like Achan more. I don't know why. I just I, they're 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 a lot more chill. I I, I get on cows sometimes. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, easy peasy. Gas the bronies or the incels. Uh, the bronies because the incels will eventually kill themselves. <sighs> easy peasy. Do you hate me because you know, I, I invaded your chat. Do you? That's the that's the brony who threatened to murder me. Uh, no, I. Don't really care about you. You're just a source of entertainment for me. Easy peasy, free fr free Palestine. Okay, here you go. I freed them. They're free. They were in my pocket, chained up. They're, they're free. Your opinion on the gays? I have nothing against the gays. If I did, I would have used it already. Easy peasy. Are you conservative? That means something completely different in Israel. Like, I can't really get into that. It would... Like, I can't say yes or no because it means something completely different to be conservative in my country. Um, yeah, I guess I'm closer to, to, a, to a liberal in, in Israeli terms. The conservative party is just complete shit here. No, actually, both parties are complete shit here. Eh, I can't really answer that. I'm just... Uh, the, the entire political landscape here is, uh, is a trash heap. Okay, what's it like in Israel? It's hot and unpleasant. Never come here. Any more questions? I'm, I'm, is, is anyone still even watching this? I'm going to go ahead and check. People are leaving, which is a great great choice. Just, just go. What are your thoughts on Filthy Frank? I enjoyed his content, but I don't want to say he sold out, but he decided to be a serious rapper, but he's not good. Like, his joke albums were funny. They were good because they were bad. Okay? Now he's trying to make a serious album at the same level of quality that he was making joke raps. And it's not good. He's not a good rapper. He was a good rapper when you take what he's doing as a giant joke. So, no, I... And I wish he had finished his actual... Uh, 
his actual like show quote unquote before just instead of just writing it into a book i'm not sure if it was a cash grab or he was too lazy to finish it but i wanted to know how the uh stupid chinchin saga ends i know it's stupid but i'm curious okay can you dedicate a school shooting to me well i guess someone dedicated one to monkey jones so I, I need to compete, so yeah, please, just shoot up a school in, in my name. Write easy peasy on your chest. Thoughts on TTG? I don't know what TTG is, I don't remember what that is. I, I recognize the initials, but I don't, I don't remember. The, t the top gaze? I don't know. Any more questions? Anything? Let's see what I miss. Thoughts on Daddy Derek, Mumkey Jones? start a school shooting my thoughts on the daddy derek thing is that you should go to that uh, to that indiegogo and report the shit out of it until it's closed so that he doesn't steal anyone's money that's what my thoughts are on that he's trying to defraud people i literally sent a complaint to indiegogo and there's like one day left if you have time report that shit because he's going to steal people's money if that thing is not taken down Okay, easy peasy, are you white? I don't consider myself white. Jews aren't white. Let's get more political. Suicide by rope or gun? Um, gun. I think I'd go with, uh, with a gun. Can you guys cl clear out already? Just, just leave? How much longer do I have to answer stupid questions? Anyone who's here for the document, you can leave by now. This this chat is over. This chat is ogre. Let's see what happens if I refresh this. Let's see if it cuts me off. Speak some Israeli. No, I will not speak some Israeli until you find out what the name of the language actually is. Speak some Israeli. Opinions on idiots falsely quoting the...